Hey y'all, Cornell Jermaine here. Listen, I wanted to stop today and highlight um, some of my favorites from last night's Met Gala 2021. Uh, for those that don't know, I have a 20 plus year background in the beauty slash fashion uh, industry with a, with a concentration in hair care specifically. So I've been around and doing these kind of events for many, many years. And I just love when I see things that inspire me or, uh, or, or make me applaud or make me uh, tip my hat to other professionals and other individuals who got it right in my opinion. But I wanted to highlight some of the uh, people that I thought did it really, really well. Um, first, I know everybody is talking about the blackout uh, outfit that that uh, Kim Kardashian West, uh, I guess she's still going by West, but Kim Kardashian uh, wore. Um, I'm not gonna focus much on that. Uh, it was very interesting to say the least, but I will say uh, what did it for me for that outfit was the floor length ponytail. That floor length snatchback ponytail was a win for me. I, I, I love, I'm not sure exactly who did her hair. Uh, I'm not sure uh, of the entire inspiration behind the look, but whatever the case may be, I adored that ponytail. What I adored about it most is not just that it was floor length. That was one thing. But the, what I really loved about it is, is the movement. The movement. The hair had it was just enough hair because sometimes, uh, the, you know, you ladies, you guys put too much hair in the ponytail and it's, it looks thick and bulky and it doesn't have the flow. It just looks, it looks wiggy. You know, this had movement. It had the length. It had just enough volume. You know, so I was just a fan of that. So that was my favorite part of her look. But regarding the other aspects about it, I'm not really that interested. But I wanted to highlight some of my. Chicas, my 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 black sisters who who I thought just knocked it out the park, you know, who 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 were just great for me. One is um, now I will say this. Let me preface this. <laughs> I, I I I liked where they were going with this. I think it could have been executed a little better, but Lupita Nyong'o, Lupita Nyong'o. Um, I like the fact that they decided to allow the texture to come through, and you, there there was a kind of a theme of that on the runway this year was the uh, textured hair. I liked where they were going. I think it needed a little more symmetry. I think the silhouette was slightly off, um, but I liked where it was going. So I give her just a a, a for effort. You know what I mean. Um, next on my list is Kiki Palmer. I thought it was, it was simple. Her look was very simple. Uh, it gave us uh, soul go soul. What is it? Soul glow vibes. You know, um, just a nice textured full body wig. It was cute. You know what I mean. It was cute. It, it wasn't over the top. It complemented the outfit. Um, it added some flair. You know what I mean to her overall look. Um, and I thought it was just great. So I applaud those who made the decision for that look. Next on the list is also another texture. I told you that was kind of a theme, it seemed like, through uh, last night's Met. Uh, but Taraji P. Taraji P. Henson, I loved her look. And I loved her look because it looked styled but unstyled. And if you know what I, what I, what I mean by that is, as a professional in the industry, sometimes you want that polished and perfected and very um uh sculpted and, and 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 polished i guess is the best word look and then other times the look doesn't call for that sometimes you can over style hair you know if 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 you're if you're in the industry or you've been around the industry enough sometimes when you're and we and i say this because you don't when you're going for events like this and even in everyday life sometimes you just need a look you're not looking for the perf perfect hair. You're not looking for every hair to be in place and things to be smoothed and all. You're not looking for that. Sometimes you are and sometimes you aren't. And there's a great example of that uh, that's coming up. But for her look, I felt like that what we call in the industry bed head was proper. I thought it was the best way to go. And that's exactly what she had, like this bed head, natural, undone, curl type like I didn't try. I just got up, shook my head, and went. And it worked. 
it worked. I liked it. You know what I mean? I liked it. And sometimes you need that. You don't want the perf- the perfect. You know, you don't want every curl to be smooth and in place. You just need that that wild, undone look. You know, a, a lady who does that very well is Shaka Khan. You know what I mean? Sh- she does that bed head, just free flow look very well. You know what I mean? And there are some others, but that's just one who comes to mind. But just the tip for the, some of the ladies, that sometimes is, 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 is a good thing. You know what I mean? To have hair that is... Uh, almost what we call bedhead, which simply means slept on. You know what I mean? You got it done a couple days ago, and now it's perfect. You get what I'm saying? So I thought Taraji P did that very well. Another one on the list, and I just I just had to highlight her because uh, I love her uh, as an individual. Um, the outfit, you know, it was cool. I like the color. I like the colors, uh, the color blocking, and the you know, I like that. Uh, I don't know. I don't have much comment on the outfit. I'm not a huge fan, and I'll just leave it at that. But her hair, I thought was very nice. I love the locks, another textured uh, style that we saw. Of course, Whoopi is known for her locks, um, so that's not new for us, but they, she gave us a little length, you know what I mean, which I think was a great thing. She gave us face, you know, meaning she took the hair up in the top, which gave us more focus to the face. What I don't like, though, and I have to highlight this as a professional because I, I think it's important, is because they gave us this, this, this up, and focused more on the face with her with her hairstyle i felt like there should have been some color around the edges now i'm not against gray hair keep me keep it in mind i'm i'm not against gray but i feel like because of the the color blocking with the outfit and the 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 silhouetting i feel like the gray hair just kind of sticks out like a sore thumb and it kind of almost is like yin, yin, you know what I mean like oh my god what is that they forgot something it makes it feels undone to me as a professional now, I'm curious to see what you guys think but as a professional it feels undone not just because it's gray but because of the color scheme the color blocking she had you know you have these solid colors beautiful bright colors you got this these beautiful locks, you know, black, dark brown locks, and then you have this streak of gray that's just going around the edges. I think they should have just colored it just a little bit. And maybe she didn't want to color, but the beauty about our industry is you don't have to, she didn't have to get a permanent color. You know, we it could have been colored with, with powder, it could have been colored with things that would have rinsed right out the next, you know, that evening, you know, if she wanted it. So that's the only uh, criticism that I have about her look is I think that the gray around her edges, uh, which is obviously her natural hair, should have been colored, whether it was permanent or or, or uh, a semi-deposit only permanent. So that's just my thought on that. But love Whoopi, love the outfit um, to a degree. <laughs> but I, I, I see where they were going and I give them uh, uh, applause for what they did. But uh, next on my list is probably my most favorite hair of the evening. And I say this uh, with passion because this look on June Ambrose, for those who don't know, June Ambrose is a costume designer and creative director who has worked with the likes of, I mean, you name them, she's worked with them from entertainment to all aspects of, 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 of music, industry, entertainment and uh, uh, Hollywood. But she's a very talented uh, costume designer and creative director who I admire in the industry. I felt like her look was A1. I think, I don't, I think the, where they were going, they nailed it. I, her hair, I felt, was perfect. And it went up. And this is the opposite of what I was talking about with Taraji. You know, how Taraji had the bed head undone type, you know, slept on look. Well, this is the complete opposite of that. June Ambrose has this very polished, very uh, smooth lines, very sculpted look, but it's great for the outfit and the look that she has for the evening. I felt like it was just beautiful. Shout out to the stylist, hairstylist who did that, uh, Nicole Newland. Uh, Nicole, you you knocked it out the park with that one. I love, love, love this look. It is my favorite hair of the evening. If I had to pick, I'm sorry. Out of all the people that I love that walked the red that 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 carpet that night, this one is it for me. She nailed it. It was perfect for the outfit. And honestly, there are a couple of others who could have used a a a, a polished sculpted look they, like go back to Lupita Lupita 
they were they were going for this, but they kind of went for this combination look with her, I think, or they were trying to with this undone but sculpted. Because when you talk about sculpted, you're talking about silhouettes. You're talking about uh, how the eye views the overall look. And I think I feel like Lupita's uh, team was going for that, but the more textured and uh, slightly undone version, but it didn't come together quite as nicely. You know, and it I, it could have, but it didn't come together quite as nicely. Um, but this on June Ambrose, I think, was a A plus. Shout out to June. Shout out to Nikki again, uh, the hairstylist. You guys knocked it out the park. Now, my overall favorite, not necessarily hair, not necessarily uh, just outfit, but just overall favorite for the theme, for the look of the evening is fashion icon and supermodel, um, Iman. Iman was stellar. I think this outfit, the headpiece, this over, over, I don't even know what you would call this piece. I would have to talk to my, some of my costume wardrobe friends to find out what they call this, but it's obviously something that's going over. It looks like she has a two piece or maybe a one piece jumper. Maybe, I don't know, or, but this piece that's going over it and then the headpiece, I mean, it was magical, uh, breathtaking, just all of the above. I loved this look. I think she pulled it off with great style. I think it was appropriate for who she is uh, in the industry of, 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 of fashion. I think um, the color is perfect. That gold gives us that royal, rich, regal look. It was great. No complaints, no criticisms, applause all day. Iman, you and your team did that. So those are my 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 favorites of the evening. Um, like I said, Met is just a, a a event where creatives can be creative and uh, designers can create based on some of their wildest imaginations. Um, and we the con we the viewers and 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 the commentators and the journalists of the industry and the world, uh, we love it. We love it. And I think applause to everyone. Uh, but I especially want to applaud my black sisters who I feel represented uh, very well. Uh, and the fact that they highlighted a lot of texture and a lot of um, uh, uh, natural, you know, uh, hair, I think was it was a plus for me. So shout out to all those who participated in the Met. Uh, look forward to seeing what you guys come up with next year. And until then, you guys take care. Hey, if you have not subscribed to my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button. Uh, and we'll see you next time. Peace.